Thank you guys so much for all the questions and comments that you guys leave on my videos. I love them. I love reading them. It's so much fun. I haven't got any trolls yet, I don't think. Everyone seems to be really positive. Thank you. One of you wonderful people has asked me to show you guys what I use for editing and what I use hardware wise. So I would love to show you, but first please take a look at this gorgeous view. First piece of equipment that I love, that I love, 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 is called the Osmo Plus. And it's a, it's a stabilized camera, it's good quality, it's compact, it's pretty much everything you would want in a camera. You guys wanna take a look at it? Check it out. All right, so guys, this is the Osmo Plus right here. As you can see, it has a record button. This button I never actually use, so I don't know what that is. And then this button, which I actually never use either, but I think it moves the camera and stuff. And this is it, super stable. Stabilized. It has these awesome like legs that just hold everything together. It's very very convenient and you get the most incredible time lapses here check it out So I showed you the hardware of the Osmo uh, Plus, but really the software is just so cool. Here, check out this time lapse that I'm gonna do. you find people check it out these are some of the things that I use to make everything a little bit easier so first and foremost a good computer with good processing speeds this is a great computer I like it I like Apple Apple's cool so second very important piece of hardware here is tea as you can see I have some green tea in a very stimulating container here and actually it goes just like that so it's very efficient very much needed for film production and then of course as you can see containers containers are important to hold everything this container hold this this lovely contraption here this this microphone this microphone is good I like this microphone it, it's a little older but it works just fine in fact it works very well this is the case for my wonderful drone that I've brought to many countries and have flown all over the world this is the microphone doesn't work currently I don't know why I'm trying to figure it out it's the big one we have three different sizes small medium and large and here here is the most amazing camera I have ever used in my life. This thing is fast, agile, and super smooth and takes some really just beautiful footage of this beautiful planet that we live in. Here we have my controller. I love my controller. It's so nice. If you use a phone, great, but if you want to step it up, use an iPad. It is so much better. And so this is my equipment. So while equipment is important for sure, drone super important, GoPro super important, which is what I'm shooting this on, and the Osmo amazing and they all add to it, the most important thing for film is a story. A story and an environment and a location. For me, I, I just love to capture. So these I think are all part of a production. I think this place that I'm at now is a great backdrop. I mean, my God, you know. I'm going to do another video actually about this place and this is a very special special place. Yeah, you'll you'll see it soon. So one thing that I absolutely love about video production is the editing process. My God, it allows you to create and mold a story, even embody feelings and emotions and deliver them to the audience. I mean, my God, what a beautiful thing it is. And this is done through the editing process, which, which I, I use that computer you saw and I use iMovie. I don't use anything fancy. Well. I could talk about it all day, but let me show you.
I'm here doing the editing process for the video that you're currently watching. I'm having a lot of fun with it. As you can see, I am cutting everything. I'm cutting out all my ums. I'm cutting out all the spaces in between words that are unnecessary and prolong the story. I'm also cutting out footage that's unnecessary. When there's a longer sequence of interesting things, I like to just cut it down, make it more presentable, make it quick so you guys get the general idea, and then continue from there. You know, the, the goal is to not bore the audience. <laughs> What is going on, my beautiful friends? Check this out. This is why I absolutely love Mokrin. You know, I went outside to the little terrace for a break, and I come back, check this out. Bubble water, a lovely coffee. Don't ever wanna see the light. Don't ever wanna have a fright. I'm clearly very bored right now. But it's all good, I have you guys to talk to. I'm way too musical right now. This is YouTube, not Broadway. Yeah, just gonna go walk outside, cause you know, stretching the legs is good, especially when you start getting too musical, right? There we are, in the exterior. We are in the exterior of the world. We are in the exterior of the world, where man has to fight to be alive. Oh, oh look at this tree. What a beautiful tree. What do you think, Cornelius? Well, Fashwa, I think it's a fabulous tree. I'm, I think it's a fine tree, but nothing too special. Cornelius, what do you mean it isn't special? Look at those beautiful leaves. How oh, they glisten in this beautiful weather. I, for, I totally forgot the accent I was doing over here. Oh man, it's early. Okay, I gotta keep the accents consistent if I'm gonna do that. You know who really inspired me? Robin Williams. I used to watch a lot of Robin Williams movies when I was younger, and I really enjoyed it. I loved it. I mean, he is such a funny guy. He can make your day that's not so good great. Most of his content are works of art. I used to love trying to mimic him and stuff, and then like, you know, when I was a little kid, you know, I mean, uh, I think that's what, uh, he's, he is the cause of my mental disorder, clearly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a, a little table under this tree. Oh shit. Windy! It's windy! I don't know what to do! Ah! Oh. Sorry, but yeah, I'm gonna put a table under the tree, hang out and stuff. Dude, check it out, time lapse. Time lapse, check this out. Dude, I love this little Osmo. So this is what it's time lapsing. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I know it didn't look cool, but it, it will look a lot cooler when I put the speed effects on and, and some music. It'll look really cool. Here, check it out. I'm walking down the stairs. Stairs are not fun. But you know what is fun? The pool! I love this pool because it's so wonderful. Maybe it's because it's so colorful. But sometimes I think to myself... Yeah, I, I don't know where I was going with that. Can we please just admire the beautiful bamboo behind me? Is it just me? Or do you guys just like love bamboo? Such like a, a lovely plant. Really is. I, I, I've always loved bamboo. It, there's something so calming about it and it just flows in the wind. Oh, kind of like this bamboo right here. Oh yeah, that looks good. It's like a beautiful bamboo bush. It's like a little tranquility hut. Have like a picnic in the shade. Wouldn't that be nice? So I think your environment matters. What I'm trying to say is I think your environment can be 
hands down the most important thing in your life. It is, right? We're living in societies that have evolutionized faster than humans have. We are still mammals. We are still beings. We need that flow, that nature, the space, the drywall skyscraper metropolis. I mean, how healthy is that? You know, after spending some time here in this open world, next to water, next to the gym, all within walking distance, also next to humans, this is the environment that is amazing. This environment is what we are built for. Lighting sucks, lighting sucks, lighting sucks, lighting is better. No? It's weird, right? Guys, this is the gym that I go to. It's fantastic. I'm able to stretch. I feel like that helps with my mental state 150%. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, and it's right next to the pool. And it's, you know, everywhere I go in this entire property, I'm just so calm and, and so inspired. And I mean, maybe that's why I've been able to make these videos. It's cool, man. It's something I've never experienced before. <laughs> To be honest with you, it's a great place to get stuff done. It's a great place to be as productive as you can possibly be. You don't have to think about anything. It's amazing how they take care of the, the necessities in life, right? So, so they prepare all your food. They take care of all the amenities. They take care of everything else. All you have to focus on is being creative, being inspired to go deep within yourself to find what truly matters. So this building behind me was featured in an architecture magazine, and for good reason. Isn't that the craziest looking building? This is my time right now. Becky? Becky? Where are you, Becky? Oh my god, I'm right here. What do you expect me to do? Well, Becky, I just wanted to say hi. <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed that. Hello, you beautiful people. How are you? I'm doing good. I am just reviewing some of the comments that you fine folks have left. And uh, I got a, a, a comment from mm Brains. He says, I watch the videos because you are living the dream. Which is traveling around the world in these really nice places and houses. I would like to see a video that covers, number one, how you chose a place to go. And number two, how you make sure the house you stay in is safe and nice and you aren't going to get robbed. Well, mm Brains, you're very clever for that name, by the way. Love it. I love your questions, right? Because they can make or break a trip. Let me try to explain. So how do my brother and I choose where to go? It's, it's an interesting question, right? I, I need to say that we end up in certain places by spontaneity. So we actually ended up here in Serbia because my lovely fiance is from Serbia. <laughs> So how do we know where to go next? What are the parameters for choosing the next place we go? Well, by recommendations, typically, whether it's the internet or other people, it's also where our geographical location is. We're just interested, I suppose. So how do we know if the Airbnb is safe or not? Ratings. Ratings are the number one thing that I look at when I'm trying to book an Airbnb. Absolutely great. I read all of them, especially if we're going to be there for like a longer period. Uh, one of the times we went to Budapest, we initially got a beautiful apartment for sure, but unfortunately they didn't have any air conditioning and it was sweltering hot. Oh my, it was like 85 degrees in inside of the apartment. So we called Airbnb and told 
them that, hey, look, our Airbnb kind of sucks. It's extremely hot. Instead of waiting, we took a bunch of photos of everything that was wrong, the air conditioning not working, the washing machine that was broken. And what we ended up doing was just booking another Airbnb and then going to that Airbnb and then sending all the evidence, if you will, to the Airbnb caseworker that we were working with. And she gave us a full refund. It was great. No problemo. Everything worked out just fine. My tea. I love my tea. I think it's green tea. Dude, I'm going to really miss this beautiful place. Thank you guys so much for making it this far into the vlog. That means you guys either really liked it or you got stuck in your computer chair and you can't reach your mouse. Either way, thank you guys so much. If you really like my material, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I have a Patreon account, please, by, by golly, I would greatly appreciate it. That means I can continue doing this for you guys. So donate, donate. I'm just kidding, you don't have to if you don't want to, but, but it would be very greatly appreciated. Anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I had so much fun making it, and I cannot wait to make the next one for you. You guys are gonna love it. Thank you guys so much. Till next time.